Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey you guys, I hope you're doing good today. So for all your tea sipping needs, make sure you guys go to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so if you guys do not know, yesterday in Toronto, Canada, Pusher T was in Drake's hometown. He was performing at the Danforth Music Hall. He was putting on a concert and during the concert, all of a sudden, he was attacked with a bunch of beer. Like beer was just raining down on him like a damn fire hose, okay? And so as soon as the beer was just raining down on him from a particular section, then all of a sudden a bunch of guys started trying to run on the stage and ambush Pusher T. So initially rumors were spread that Pusher T was getting jumped and he was the one who was beat up. And and then Pusher T came out and he cleared everything up and he stated that he was not the one getting beat up. He also ended up coming back on stage and accused Drake of setting all of this up. Eventually more fights broke out and then the entire concert itself ended up being canceled. So this entire situation is a hot damn mess, honey. But you know what? I'm here for it, bitch, okay? Anyways, y'all, y'all go ahead and check out this video footage. Y'all go ahead and check out what Pusha T had to say about the situation. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. All right, so it's even gotten worse, okay? Today's being announced that one of the concert goers is currently in critical condition. He was stabbed and almost killed. So this has gotten really serious, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what People Magazine is reporting. Go ahead and check this out. So People Magazine is saying one man is in critical condition after he was stabbed multiple times during a physical brawl that broke out at the Pusha T concert in Toronto on Tuesday night. Constable David Hopkins, a spokesperson for the Toronto Police Department, tells people that the man whose name has not been released was operated on overnight for a series of various stab wounds, the culprit or culprits of which are still being investigated. The victim was one of six people complaining of injuries after the fight, though the rest were non-serious. A rep for Pusha T had no comment. All right, so you guys just heard me read that. So like I said, this entire situation is insane. It's sad that people spent their money, their hard-earned money, to go watch a show, to go support Pusha T, and then you have a few rogue people, you know what I'm saying, who want attention and who want to, you know, basically venerate fucking Drake. You know, and I'm a Drake fan. Y'all know that shit. I'm a big Drake fan. I like Drake's music. I have, you know, since given him the side eye, since he had a bay with the damn porn star. But I do like Drake, but I don't like Drake break enough to sit there and pour beer on somebody, to try and attack somebody on stage. You know, this young man, I don't know if he's one of the people who
who was involved and he was just, you know, a bystander and he got stabbed. But nobody should go to a concert to go have a good time and risk being injured or stabbed. And over what? Over Drake and, and Pusher T's beef? It makes no sense whatsoever. So for all those folks who were over there pouring beer and fighting and acting a fool, is Drake going to pay your legal bills? I highly damn doubt it, okay? Drake ain't even gonna send your ass a damn fruit basket. And that's the problem. This idol worshiping has just gotten out of control. Folks don't even think for themselves no more. You know, they worship these celebrities and they treat them like idols and gods and they deify them. And at the end of the day, Drake is at home in his million dollar mansion living his best damn life while your ass is sitting in jail and looking at serious charges. And then to the other people who came and they spent their money, they weren't even able to get their money's worth and enjoy the concert because the concert got shut down. You know, so this entire situation is just a hot damn mess. I'm glad more people weren't injured. I'm glad more people weren't, you know, hurt. You know, I'm glad nobody was killed thus far. Hopefully this unidentified man who's in critical condition will be okay. But it's never that damn serious. And the crazy part is these dummies still paid for tickets to go to Pusha T's concert. So you basically put money in Pusha T's pocket and now your ass is sitting in jail looking at charges. Like, you know, make this shit make sense. I can see they did this shit after the concert and they ran up on Pusha T and tried to attack him. But y'all literally paid money to go to his concert, paid for front row tickets so you know they weren't cheap, only for your ass to end up in damn jail. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get this discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy-ass situation, honey. Once again, concerning Pusha T getting attacked by Drake stands on stage. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Miss <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.